Welcome to another edition of Talk City Greensboro, produced by GTN, featuring interviews and events happening around town. It's an easy way to stay in the know while you're on the go. Subscribe to Talk City on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Play, or SoundCloud so you can keep up with what's going on in Greensboro City government. I'm your host, Josh Johnson, and with me today, as always, around the big round table is Rosemary Plyman. Hey, glad to be here today. You know, the holidays are full of fun and joy. At least that's what advertisers, movies, and television tell us. Well, in reality, a lot of people actually struggle this time of year. It is not uncommon. Stress, sadness, worry make this the most miserable time of the year for some. Mm -hmm. Deborah Mack is Guilford County's Behavioral Health Director. Hello and welcome. We are so glad to have you here today. Hello. Great to be here. Thank you for being here. Thank you. All right. So we really don't see this side of the holidays featured very often. Um, So how common really are these feelings? They're really common. As you think about it, life happens to everyone. You know, life goes on and life happens even during the holidays, even Mm -hmm. during those times when it should be a time of joy. There's always that opportunity for the stress of life to come in. So, you know, quite frequently we have people that that will walk into our Gifford County Behavior Health Center just for an assessment or just Mm -hmm. for someone to talk to. You know, so needing that does not slow down during the holidays. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, there, and it's it's not uncommon. I mean, it's it, there's not anything wrong with you if you're not full of joy right now, is what you're saying. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, exactly. So what are some of the what are some of the triggers for people like during the holidays that just kind of put them put them there? <laughs> yeah. You think about uh, with the economy right now, mm-hmm. financial strains. That is a big one right mm-hmm. now. You know, we are just coming out of the pandemic, you know, and some people are still worried about their their physical health or, you know, even side effects that may have happened during the COVID time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you got the stress of your physical health. You got the stress of finances. You got the stress of family. Some people are still, you know, surviving the passing of a loved Mm -hmm. one during this time. So all those things that life brings us also brings along the joy of it, but it also brings along, once again, the stress of it. Yeah, I really think about people who have lost something or, you know, and maybe it's not even a person. Maybe it's, you know, a job or a home or or just, you know, something, even a pet, you know, something meaningful Mm -hmm. to them. And the holidays just make that harder sometimes because you just you're filled with memories of these times with those people, those things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. What um, what are some resources available to people who are struggling? Um, I mentioned we we have the Gifford County Behavior Health Center. It's been open a year now, a little mm-hmm. over a year. So that's a new facility that's twenty four seven. Anyone can walk in for an assessment. Uh, you can walk in for just a counseling if you just need someone to talk to. So those services are there, and, and they are around the clock. You have um, outpatient services at different community agencies that provide that. We have 988. You know, people think if you call 988, you're calling for a psychiatric emergency, but it doesn't have to be that mm-hmm. because you okay. can be connected with a counselor and speak with a counselor on the line also. You know, so there are so many services for um, the help of men- for mental health help in our community. So, you know, those opportunities are very vast and very wide. Mm-hmm. And even at the Gifford County Behavior Health Center, the goal there is to get you to that level of care that you need. Because it may not be an inpatient stay. It may not be an outpatient appointment. It may just be that counseling session. Mm-hmm. Okay, Deborah. So, <coughs> excuse me, tell uh, tell us a little bit more about 988. So, it's new. It, it, yeah, it is yes. new. It's it just started yes. this year, didn't it? Yes, it okay. launched July the 16th. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So very new. Um, so uh, the 1-800-TALK number did not go away. That number's still there. So mm-hmm. these numbers are connected. So 988 is that easy access. Think about when 911 started. Mm-hmm. It was just a quick, easy uh, number to remember to get the help that you need. Yeah. So when you dial 988, you will be speaking with a counselor. And that counselor will direct you to the services in your community. Mm-hmm. And that's the one good thing is that 988 is a national number, but they will connect you to the services in to your area. Services. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Local. And like I said, you can call that number and you can uh, speak to someone. There's also a chat. You know, young people like to text and they like right. to do the chat. Yeah. So, oh, so you can you, text 988. Yes. Oh, wow. That's yeah. great. Yes. So those options are there because sometimes when you can't talk, maybe you can mm-hmm. just text it, and mm-hmm. that's been really big with the with the youth. So yeah, I yeah. think I think a lot of people, and also it, if you're if you're scared about taking that first step, you know, that making the phone call feels 
too much even because that's a, that's a real thing. That's okay that yeah. you can start with that text and maybe develop you know some a relationship and some comfort with the texting part before you actually talk to somebody. Yes, yes. And I like that you said that because so much of mental health services is about building those relationships. Mm -hmm. You have to get that rapport and you have to develop a level of trust with your service providers. Let's talk about um, this time of year. I think people are already starting to think ahead to the new year. and They're thinking about their health and maybe resolutions about their health. Do you have any suggestions for people who are really want to take better care of their mental health in the new year is 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 that a good thing to do to kind of think about that is an excellent thing to do. <laughs> you know, we all, like you said, kind of make those New Year's resolutions and try, kind of look to a fresh start. Mm -hmm. So a fresh start is always thinking about how healthy am I? And if I'm not at the level of health that I want to be, whether that's physical or mental, what can I do to get there? How do I get there? People think about meditation and mm -hmm. all those things, and it, that those things help. But sometimes just a simple walk in nature mm -hmm. can ground you. Just a simple conversation with a friend can ground you. So you're looking for those things that help you, that help ground you and kind of stabilize you to say, okay, I can deal with this. And it gives you a moment to just kind of step back and look at your whole situation with some different eyes. Mm -hmm. So the new year brings that. You think about it, it mm -hmm. brings that for a lot of things. Yeah. It brings that opportunity to look at everything with some new mm -hmm. odds because you're going into that new year. Yeah. So one of the things I always suggest to people is take some me time. Mm -hmm. Just take some me time and just kind of sit with yourself and just have a conversation. You know, people say, oh, you can't talk to yourself. Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and you should. Mm -hmm. I hope it that's is. not the case because I've been doing that for years. <laughs> It is very healthy. It is mentally healthy to talk yes. to yourself. And really, you shouldn't wait for the new year. I mean, this is something, you know, do today. Yes. Turn off this podcast Absolutely. and do it right now. Yes. You know, talk to talk to yourself. Just sit with yourself. Just be quiet or walk outside. I mean, yeah, mm -hmm. that could all do us a whole lot of good right now. Yes. Yeah. So there are likely listeners who really resonate with what's what you're saying. And um, they're thinking differently about some of their loved ones. Um so uh, going into this this time of year, going into a new year, I mean, what would, what would you like for them to know? Life is going to happen. It happens to us all. But when the stresses of life interrupt your inability to live, love, laugh, then it's time to seek some help. Yeah. Then it's time to seek some professional help because if you if you can't live, you feel like, oh, I'm just depleted, I'm drained. If mm -hmm. you can't laugh, if you can't love in those relationships, and that's any relationship, mm -hmm. then it's time to say, okay, the stress of life, the the uh, the sorrow, the unhappiness, the the hopelessness is is affecting those areas of your life. Then it's time to seek some help, to seek someone to talk to, mm -hmm. and you know and. Counselors are just someone to talk to, and we all need someone to talk to at some time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and with the <clears throat> with nine eight eight, there's no. I know sometimes people maybe feel like, well, what I'm dealing with is not it's not really important it's enough. It's not to bad call enough, the number, right? Right. Mm -hmm. It's not like nine one one. Like you know, they say call this number if it's really an emergency. But that number nine eight eight, you call for anything, call it at any time for any reason. Mm -hmm. Maybe you just want to talk to somebody. Yes. So it, you, they can call it for, for anything, right? Yes. At any and, point. Yes, and that's definitely the message that we want to get out there. In the kickoff of 988, we had a, a 911 dispatch person on the panel who talked about that. You know, even as children, we learn, don't you dial that right. 911 right. number? <laughs> it better be a real emergency. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly yeah. And so now for 988, is training people to say, well, it doesn't have to be that real emergency. It just has to be a need. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whatever your need is, that you call that number and there's help there to help you meet that need. Mm -hmm. Wonderful, wonderful. I love that. And, and you know, the, I know that there are a few folks listening and they're they're hearing your voice. This is this is what you're going to hear. You're going to hear somebody who cares, yeah. like Deborah, someone who's there to listen to you, someone who can direct you in the right direction, and 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 just be an ear for you. And yeah. sometimes that's all we need. So that's right. Thank you for your calming presence and voice. We we really appreciate you spending some time with us today. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Deborah. Hey, Thank don't you. forget, 988, a simple phone call, the National Suicide Crisis Hotline. 
Call it for support. Call it for a question. Call it for a resource. Call it just for somebody to talk to. Um, It's available 24 hours a day, every single day of the year. Again, Deborah, thank you. Thank you. Stay tuned in weekly by subscribing to Talk City Greensboro on iTunes, Stitcher, and Google Play. And don't forget, you can download Talk City from SoundCloud. That's our time for this week. Thank you so much for tuning in to Talk City. If you liked what you heard, please share it with a friend. Be sure to watch GTN, your official source for news and information about the city of Greensboro. GTN is available on Spectrum Channel 13. AT&T U-verse Channel 99. And North State Channel 31. GTN also streams live on Roku and the city's website at at greensboro-nc.gov.